How's it going guys? Carl here and today we're going to be diving into ribbon charts and Power BI. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to go into our build. We're going to come over here and we're going to hover over ribbon chart. We're going to go ahead and select ribbon chart. We're going to drag this into our report view and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we have an X axis, Y axis and a legend. Okay. So in our X axis, let's go with the product category and in our y axis let's go with the sales all right so it looks a little wonky a little bit so we can fix this just let's go to our filters and then what we want to do is go to our product category and we want to select everything except food and spice all right so we're going to do that let's lock that into place and i actually want to move this filter on filters on all this all the pages because i don't want to have to deal with that feature again so we're going to slide this over here do that and then we can lock this that way I can get rid of this right here all right so we just added a filter there all right so now we see what our ribbon chart will look like uh, using the product categories and the sum of sales let's go ahead and change this to just say sales so sales a product category Sales by product category. So now let's go ahead and format this visual. So we're going to go into format. Let's give it a background. Let's give it a border and a shadow. Got to bring us off the edge so we can see our shadow. And we'll do that. So we also have our title on. We can move our title to the center like so. We can also give our title a background like so. And we can minimize that. We'll go to our Y axis. As we can see, our Y axis is zero to look like uh, somewhere in between 12 and 1300. We can increase the size there as well as the font. We can change this font as well for our, oh, this, sorry, this is our X axis. And then we can turn off that title. And then our Y axis. We have a minimum and maximum range. Again, you can use the slider to manipulate that. Let's just turn this off and let's just play around with the font a little bit. Feel free to pause this so you don't get um, left behind. And then if you want to play with the grid lines, again, you can expand this and play with the grid lines here. Like I said, don't, don't be afraid to pause the video so you can stay on track. Again, to the zoom slider controls your man and max if you want to do that manually. As you can see, it does it from the top to bottom or bottom to top. We have columns here, so you can set the columns to uh, one color, which is here. Or you can change the colors individually. So if you just wanted to start going through here and changing the colors, you can do that and by simply just doing this here or you can just leave it set to all and just leave it one color of course once you start changing the color if you want to get it all back you just hit reset to default you can add borders um, which in my opinion aren't very appealing to the eye again you can come down here to ribbons you can turn the ribbons off just like on your regular cluster um, your stack column charts you can just turn this off and turn this on and it'll give you these effects here you can set the data labels inside them and you can also change the position of those data levels to, to um, inside end you can also change the outside end inside center or inside base alright so just feel free to use your own desired aesthetics there you can change the value of your text if you want to increase or change the color you can do that by just changing the color there as well as changing the font if you see it's bleeding off or into the bar a little bit if you want to increase your bar sizes once you get done with your data labels you can come back to columns and then as you can see the space in between the categories if you can increase them by just going here and that will increase the bar sizes and if you want to add a reference line again you can just add a reference line just clicking that add a constant line you have to give it a 
um, you have to give it a location so let's just say 650 and we'll add a constant line there it bleeds in with the rest of this image so we'll add it there you can change it from dash to solid to dot it and you can also put it in front or behind of course you want to probably be able to see it so even in front will probably be the best option you can also turn on the data label for it to let you know what that value is for that line and that is how you set up a ribbon chart in power bi hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial peace